Hey everybody, so I'm going to load the trailer probably today or tomorrow. Um, but I wanted to show you all the good households that I got for doing this job. It's all brand new uh, kitchenware, like in the pots and pans. The knives are... And they're made in Thailand, but I'm sure they're a decent set. Um, got this nice rack and uh, all that stuff over here. But the thing I wanted to show you, I found uh, some vintage things that I figured we could go through real fast. These are all just uh, little patches, like a little patch collection almost. The band photo. You guys saw this one, and the program underneath it is really, really clean. Uh, I mean, it's signed, but uh, I think it was this book right here that had all of the baseball, baseball memorabilia. Um... There's a lot of, it's pretty cool, a lot of different interesting photos in here. If that was original sign, that would be huge money. But I think this is right when the Cardinals won the pennant in 65 or something. So it's all, somebody must have been like a news reporter to get into see they're all celebrating with the champagne and stuff. And there was just more autograph things. Lots of signed and autographed uh, photos. But I think it was this one. I thought this photo was pretty neat. Somebody rescued all those, but this one right here. I believe that it's the year they won the pennant. It's like a picture of the dugout in... Uh, it's just just different. The other thing I found, I know sports stuff could be worth money. I just don't know enough about it. Yeah. It's just a local baseball team. But I found a pin collection. I thought this pin collection was pretty interesting. There's a little bit of... A little bit of everything. I know uh, pins sell fairly decent. I did end up selling all those uh, Elks pins that I found. These uh, stamp pins uh, issued by the post office, they sell okay as lots on eBay. Uh, Two, three dollars a piece normally. This might be the best thing here. This Aerosmith uh, vintage pin. Bunch of uh, Russian Olympics, it looks like, with the bear. But found that, and this was kind of different. It's a, from 1976. It's a Muhammad Ali. Uh, punching bag. Never... I'm sure that has some money. It still has decent plastic to it. Um, this is from 67. Got, got the Schmitz advertising on it. 
Um, I was happy with these lamps. I I feel like all the contents at the flea market, like with all these boxes and the boxes over here that I put aside, I should do five to five to eight hundred bucks. Um, and I still got a bunch of the boxes that I showed you the last time we were here with the um, basement. So that's that's my guess on uh, on this house. I still have a couple more things upstairs to grab. Uh, all right. So I did uh, did check that blue box. There was not uh, ingots or anything in there. Um, this is what I've put up stairs so far and pulled downstairs. Uh, but I have a whole load to go to uh, Goodwill. And real soon we're going to go uh, run to um, that other uh, clean out house and go get a bunch of scrap. So I threw on a yellow bucket of scrap. Um, so I'm on my way to Goodwill. Uh, hopefully they take these donations and maybe we'll find something. All right, see you guys there. So I'm at the house clean out. I'm gonna just dump my first load, but I gotta move this. Um, and we're gonna load up with a bunch of light iron. Everything, everything's been frozen for the last couple of uh, days. I wonder if you throw that, if it would come back to you. It sure looks like a boomerang. But we'll find out what we get today. I hope there's a, a bunch more stuff. So, I found something kind of cool. It was this wooden box. Um, there was this lamp for a, for a bicycle, I believe it is. It's got the, it was brand new. I think that will sell. Um, found a pewter cup. I'm going to give all these to Dan. It's all uh, new Home Depot stuff. And I got this uh, blower. I'm not sure what that is for, but it looks nice. Wow. <sighs> All right, dump some more metal. Uh, I didn't pack that. Somebody threw a, a drawer organizer. It doesn't look like any of the drawers are in there. But there is some copper. My friend, friends packed it for me. Bulava. I know that's sellable at the flea market. Looks like we get the yeah, the rest of that looks like trash. Alright, one piece of copper. I'll put that in my toolbox. Oh it's heavy. Alright, let's see what else we get. So working on here, found a couple couple of keepers. I can have anything I want on this toolbox today. Um, I know I missed a, a bunch of nice stuff yesterday here, but uh, you have to let the guy whose job it is get the things that make him excited. And then they'll call you back. So if you give them room and let them discover it, uh, but I was just trying to see what he uh, found. Why? Oh, that's a nice little rock hammer. Oh. Little bike pump. Wonder what's in that thing. Some more brass. Not too much though. There's a piece right there. Right here. I'm gonna 
find a box to put all my uh, good screws and stuff in. There is a ton of... Look at this yardstick. It's got money signs. I like that. Definitely, uh, definitely a lot of fun. Let's see, we got all these little jars back here didn't see yesterday. Oh, it's nothing special. Sometimes this is when you find the coolest things. They're just tucked away. Uh, and I, that's one of the reasons I really like looking where uh, people spend a lot of time. You never know what you're going to find. The helmet was in this box right here yesterday. That's pretty cool. Wax. Nice paint. Chinese red. I wouldn't call it that anymore. There's some vintage spray cans. Put those in a <laughs> Look at that van. I think each one of those is they're pretty pretty cool. Auto primer stops rust. But definitely definitely vintage. Look at that one with all the cool. I'm happy I actually looked in here. I told Ben I'd give him some linseed oil. Doesn't look like anything else out of the ordinary. Another wrench. The grommeter is pretty good. Or that's no, the hole maker for leather. Another piece of brass. I'm not sure what that's for. Almost looks like a sprinkler. That must be brass too. You know Williams is good. Two Williams wrenches. Half inch and seven sixteenths. Alright, get back to you guys, see if we can... Wait, here's another Williams. Might be a whole set. It's three pieces. Grab some more keys. So, there's always unexpected treasures when you're uh, playing with stuff like this. It's just trying to find where they are can <laughs> be a lot of work. I've got a art project in mind with uh, actually I need washers. Um, most of the washers are uh, coated in zinc now. Uh, they're no fun to weld. You get uh, metal poisoning, but that's two good washers there. This wrench beat the hell. Let's see, is it? It's locked up, but it says it's made in the U.S. Oh, it's a uh, Williams. I don't know if you guys can read that. So I don't know if they would. I, don't what, I have no clue if it would sell or not. Uh, if they guarantee it, I think Williams is the same company as Snap On, but doesn't mean. I don't know. Anybody knows, let me know about the wrench. I'm going to save it just because I'm not going to scrap that one, even though it's locked. Uh, Alright. Uh, let's see if we can focus. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's all the different dog tags for all the different dogs. Yeah, Dan. Down here. 
No, I thought you called me. No. I just found a military cup. Cool. Cheers. Kind of cool. You're working on this. We're just going to keep on throwing out the shed and getting that stuff ready. Yeah, there, any metal, just have them throw in the truck. Got it. That's what they are doing. There's paint cans down here. There's just two. I'm going to take all this spray unless you want it. Nope. Get rid of everything or else it goes in the garbage. Thank you. Found that cool tin. Hey, Dan, do you want these dog tags? Look, they're actual dog tags. No. I think I actually might leave them, though. Oh look, they, 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 I guess these were the bad dogs, they're over here. That's right. Nice pair of fine tweezers. Want an old cabin Surrington? Yeah, do you want this? It's a Hamilton box. No. So. Syrup tin's cool, thank you. All right, let's see if we find anything else. So, some vintage uh, saws. I don't know, one of our friends on YouTube said he gets $5 each for saws. So, I don't know, I'll try it, but they don't seem to sell that well for me, but maybe somebody's doing a craft project now. Uh... I'm going to take that pole, I think. It's pretty cool. I need one good one like that. Oh! It's a nice one. I, uh... What did I throw on? The, just threw these on the truck. Uh... I'm gonna try them for our for my driveway. But besides that, got the bikes pretty in blue. I've been putting all the usable stuff up front. For helping getting rid of all this, the stuff I got yesterday, he's gonna we're gonna work it out. I just have to help him uh, finish with the dumpster after I load up all the metal. So for me, it's worth it. That that helmet was pretty cool. Uh, all right. Yeah, we just got that on. Um, found this uh, golf club head. Brass came right off. But uh, hopefully I didn't lose it under the dumpster. It's sitting right there. But it's going to be about six seven hundred dollars worth of no six seven hundred dollars. 60 to 70 dollars worth of uh, metal. I still have a bike over here and another big cabinet to put on. Well, I got the truck all tied down. There's probably a... Uh, there was that exercise bike. It, I mean, I'm sure it's worth selling, but this house was pretty gross. That's why they threw a lot of stuff away in the dumpster. Uh, a lot of like mildew and stuff because they didn't have the AC on. Um, but we'll see how we do tomorrow. Um, my, I was pretty happy about all those vintage paints in that that I packed up in the truck. I'll be able to sell this fan too for 15 bucks at the market. And I did grab the nice wood clamps. So I probably got $100 worth of sellable stuff plus my $60 in uh, um, metal. For today so i don't know did him a favor and he'll call me back for the next uh clean out so hopefully we find something else good um dan always likes all the you know fancy like big ticket items so if i let him get that i could always pick up like if there's a collection of something i can always get a good collection of stuff off of dan that's worth like 15 to 20 bucks he'll sell it to me cheap or it'll give it to me for taking the scrap. So I can easily make 500 bucks that way. Um, and, you know, I don't mind buying his uh, big, big ticket items every once in a while. So, all right, everybody. Uh, see everybody later. 
uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah, just doing the grind. Peace.